Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit And you weren't special Till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you So, hair is installed. I don't know where I had left y'all off at. Oh, I do. It was cleaning my room. Um, I guess this can go with cleaning my room. So, we're going to do it after. We need to declutter. I don't know what video I did a declutter in. If I can remember, I'll put it up right here and link me down below. But I completely forgot to do my closets and my purses. So that's what we're going to do today. Like my closet has jeans, dresses, jumpsuits, shoes, jackets, sweatshirts, all like literally all that. I didn't do any of that when I declutter my clothes. And honestly, I could go through a whole new decluttering, like not only clothes, but hygiene products, um, makeup, old makeup, make a list of things I need to rebuy. Yeah. We gonna do that in a new video. Let me write that down, actually. If there's any other, like, small creators, we should make a group chat. I think we should make a group chat. That would be so cute. Anyway, let's get started. We're in front of my closet right now. I'm gonna show y'all what it's given. Okay, so here's the closet. Don't worry about up there. That, I'm not gonna do it until I move out, because it's just whatever. Anyway, we have jeans on this side stuff hung up shoes and mess down there we have shoes right here so let's get started with this closet all right got me a trash bag we can get started now okay so i'm gonna be super realistic with this because first of all y'all seen the clip of me cleaning my room i have so much shit in here so much clutter so much furniture i very badly want to relieve myself of that so we're gonna be standing on business while doing this it's not gonna be no bullshit um these i barely wear these to be honest so we're gonna give them away i definitely wear these a lot these i haven't worn but i can see myself wearing them still like they're just casual and cute and i feel like you can wear them in a professional setting as well so we're keeping these these ones i've never worn you see they still have like the packaging on it basically these are from fashion nova they're super cute i can still see myself wearing these um you, they're like sandals you tie it up the leg and the light is not doing it justice hold on can y'all see like it's very sparkly and super Cute. I definitely want to keep these. I feel like I can give them one more try. But if I have them again next year and I haven't worn them, I'll give them away. <laughs> these are my Michael Kors um, chakras. Not throwing those away. These, again, I feel the same way about these that I do about these. You can wear them in a professional setting, like a job interview, some shit like that. And, um, you can wear them casually. I wear these religiously. You see they're all fucked up. They're like sparkly um, sandals, super cute. I wear these every day. Love my Nike slides. Where's the other one though? Oh, it's right here. Um, These pink ones, I wear them a little bit. I'm gonna keep those. And then I have some white flip flops that I wear all the time. 
Going down, I have some black flip flops that I wear. I wear these. I don't wear these. I always think I'm a fur bitch, but I'm just not. It has like two straps. I'm just not. These, again, casual or professional keeping. These black sandals, like honestly, I wish I didn't get them. I do think they're super cute, but I'm never a big fan of like the toe, like the one toe strap. No, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it at all. I just tried it on, it's super ugly. Okay, we're gonna give these away. These, mm. I'm trying them on. I don't know, I feel like I don't, really wear these or reach for them ever because i have other black sandals that i would rather wear yeah i'll go ahead and give these away sandals done out of 21 sandals we gave away four um not bad maybe <laughs> let's just move on we can go ahead and get started with my hangers because i have so much shit hung up <sighs> okay and if you can't, if you didn't notice, I have it color coded. Yeah. This is all my black stuff. We're gonna do it first. Ooh, this is a lot. We're gonna split it in half. First one, of course, my, yeah. And y'all see the rope? Okay, okay. I think I had a gold one too. But not gonna lie, when I graduated, I didn't even know what the rope meant. This black, um, Black long sleeve dress, there's a slit on the side. It gives, it's perfect for like a simple outing. Oh, I love this dress. You can't tell what it is, but just know I love it. I wore it for New Year's one of these times, so I'll like put a picture up. This, I can give it away. It's a, what did I, I think I wore this for one of my birthdays when I was like, what, 17, 16? I'm 20 now, gonna turn 21, so. I'm gonna give this away. It's giving like business, business party. Like not business casual, it's giving us a business party. It looks, it looks the best. This, I haven't worn this yet. I bought it to wear for New Year's last year. I didn't wear it for New Year's this year, but I'm wearing this one day. Like with a leather bra and some leather shorts under, a black dress under, I don't know, but Y'all see it has jewels? I'm wearing this. It's getting worn. Regular black dress. I'm definitely keeping it. I'm such a basic type of girl. I love the, the solids, the basics, the blacks, whites, grays, and tans. That's I'm definitely all about that. And pink. <laughs> I'm definitely all about that. So I'm going to be keeping a lot of the black stuff, to be honest. This is a little club dress that I'm gonna keep. This, I'm not gonna keep. I actually got this from Plato's Closet. I never wore this. Just spending money for no reason. You think they'll take it back? No, they won't. Um, It's like a beach cover up. It has pants and then this goes around your neck. But I just never reach for that. I'm like a jean shorts and crop top type of cover up girl when it comes to my bathing suit, so. This romper is super cute, but to be honest, I never really reach for it and the back is out. I don't really like things with the back out because I don't like my back. <laughs> Already on to the next section, period. Oh, we have the, a black razor back um, long maxi dress. Definitely keeping uh, I don't know if I wanna keep this. So it's a short sleeve romper with the zipper in the middle so it kind of looks like that it's a romper oh why is it all like bent the fuck up to be honest it is too big for me right now but i definitely plan on gaining weight and when i say i plan on it i mean like dead ass i'm i'm gaining weight as we speak i'm gonna keep this uh i feel like it'll come in handy for something this is a jumpsuit with flare legs at the bottom so i'll keep oh wow i haven't worn this but i'm going to so we're keeping it it's a short sleeve maxi dress with the high slit super cute 
I feel like it can be going to the mall, it can be going to brunch, going on a date, like a, a casual date, like brunch or some shit, lunch, you know, I think it gives. This one is the same exact fucking thing as the other one, except it's a tank. This one actually fits, so I don't want to give this one away and keep the one that doesn't fit. But I'd rather have short sleeves than a tank top. So I'm going to give this one away. Short romper. Cute. I wear that religiously, actually. Leather dress. Cute. This is long sleeve romper. Yes. Oh, this is a dress i would never worn. You like tie it in the front at the boob area. And it's so cute. I love really low cut shorts dresses whatever because i have me a little tat and it just eats always and then this is a romper and you tie it over the neck but i'm gonna give it away i'd never reach for this i'm gonna go through you know the shit and i'll come back and see y'all soon Annie. I got bigger fish to fry. That's why I got a bigger net. So we have my jeans right here. I'm gonna just take them out, show y'all what it's given and what it's not giving. These jeans are a size one. Can't fit them, so they're not giving. These are ugly. I got these from Plato's Closet as well. I don't know why I thought the Michael Jackson like six button look was like super cute, but it's not. So they're okay. Like I be wearing these when I don't really want to so like i wear these around like my man's parents something like that like i don't want to show too much skin but i want to be cute so i'm gonna keep oh these my american eagle joints that i also found at Plato's closet i'm keeping these for sure they fit nice good quality we have some black distressed jeans from shein i wear these well i used to wear them all the time i have these jeans in dark blue and light blue and black as y'all can see Tell me why I wore the light blue ones to work. This dude gonna say I look like Hannah Montana. <laughs> and then I just haven't really worn them since. I'm not gonna lie, he kinda like embarrassed me. But I like them, I like them, I like them. I'm gonna get out of it, okay? By the way, me and the dude are cool, but he kinda cooked, like. <laughs> um, ooh, some no hole flare or boot cut army green olive green whatever you want to call it pants two my route 21 jeans i think they're super cute i don't reach for them often because they're size four i don't know if that's like canadian size or european size not sure but i'm a size three these are size four so they're like literally just a little bit too loose so i don't reach for them but they're super cute and like i said i'm gaining weight so yeah these and they're 
square at the bottom. So keeping there. I don't wear these a lot. They're stacked black jeans, no holes. That's because they're a little bit too big, but I feel like I can see myself wearing them when I gain my weight. <laughs> well, these are cute Fashion Nova jeans. Hole in the back. Definitely keeping these. Ugh, these are cute and I want to find a different pair of these because these are a little bit too tight, but I love this style. I like how that looks. So we're keeping them until I can replace them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are Shein. These is giving me Fashion Nova for a second. Keeping, super cute. Oh, here's another pair of the No Hole Stacked jeans, just in dark blue. These are literally my favorite jeans from Fashion Nova, but I got them at Plato's Closet. Yes, I love these jeans down. Some more No Hole, but I think these have a stain on them that wouldn't come out. Yeah. Not sure what that's about. I'm just gonna throw them away. Oh, these are the jeans I was talking about where he said I look like Hannah Montana. Okay, so we did the jeans. We did this closet. Let's move on to the other closet and the purses. For purses, um, this is not a purse. All right, first hook. We have this purse that like, I thought it was giving cute, you know, cute tan. Oh, you can't see. I thought it was giving like cute tan vibe. No, it is. It is giving that. We're gonna keep it. Now this one is just way too small for me. Like, I can probably only fit my phone in a piece of gum. No. This is like my beach bag, so we're gonna keep it. I have another tan bag. This one has a um, shoulder strap, but it also has these. I don't know. I think I like this. Even though it's plain Jane as fuck, but like, I don't know what I like about it though. Ugh. Okay, now this one might be hard. <laughs> this one might be hard. I like this one. I'm gonna fucking keep it. This one, I don't like. This was gifted to me. Oh, well, it's ugly. My brown Michael Kors. My man bought it for me for our anniversary. Keep, of course. Steve Madden. It was a gift. Just got it. Keep. Let's see. A little clutch. I feel like sometimes you need a clutch or a wristlet. So I'm definitely keeping this. Like for when you go to the club and stuff. This purse is very little <laughs> and honestly worthless like purses like these are like for pictures not really for for everyday shit so i'm throwing that out i have this white kate spade that i'm gonna keep white bag out i love this was gifted to me as well but i love this bag it's just giving like when i have to run errands i'll be bringing this so I can have everything on standby. Look at me as a senior. So cute. My dad just bought me this purse for Christmas. The Michael Kors purse. It's giving me very much. What the fuck? Wait, this is not on Michael Kors. Why did it say? It says Mia K Collection. I just assumed it was my chorus. Oh, well, anyway, it still doesn't change the fact that it's giving very much business, which I'll definitely be using it for that. First of all, I love these black purses down. I use these religiously. One, two, three, religiously. Let's see what's in this one. First of all, my pink Barbie purse. Oh, I love this purse down. We have this pink purse that I haven't worn yet, but I'm definitely gonna wear. I like that it's bigger than I thought it would be. Like cute, it's so cute. Saving that. This I'll be wearing for like, you know, like amusement parks or the beach or road trip, like just 
it's that type of bag like I'm so glad I finally got through those clothes, even though I still have a million clothes, but it really does feel good that I got through it and got rid of the things that don't serve me anymore, the things I'm not wearing, just taking up space, all that extra energy, it's all connected. I'm glad that I got rid of that. Now it's time to journal. I love journaling. I have the camera kind of angled downwards so y'all can see me write and shit. Anyway, the first thing that I want to write in is this 42 week mental health journal. I think I got this as a gift for Christmas like two years ago, not even 2023, like 2022. And I didn't use it all last year. So I'm definitely using this 52 weeks. That's a year. So every week I'll write in this, I'll finish it. I'll be able to go back and reread it. It says guided prompts and self-reflection to reduce stress and improve well-being. This is from Amazon. I can link this. Oh my God, I already wrote in it before. What the fuck? <laughs> I did not remember I had this. I said I wanted a new car in July and I got one in December, period. See, this is why it's so good to like write and shit because like, for me, I get so caught up in like my next goal. Like, okay, I reached that goal, time to move on. I don't ever sit and appreciate that I'm living the wishes, the manifestations, the prayers, whatever you want to call it. I'm living that right now. The prayers I had last year, I'm living that right now. So it makes me feel good to see that I manifested a new car and I got one. Okay, I'm not going to write in this because I have to start on week two. So I'm going to literally wait until next week. I want to be like, I want week two to actually be week two. Like by the 52nd week, I want it to be the end of the year. Like I'm done with it. And then, yeah. So trick you. We're not going to write in this one. That's okay. We have my actual journal where I write all my feelings, all the tea. And I be writing like, yes. All right. I have some prompts that I want to do. General prompts from the new year. I'll put this on the screen. I got this from Pinterest. Number one is I am proud of myself for. The first one is I am proud of myself for. And I, ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not really the, I'm very emotional. I'm very sensitive, but I'm not good at being vulnerable. That's the word. I'm not good at being vulnerable. And what I like about these little um, journal entries that I can do on screen is that it helps me be vulnerable with you guys. Y'all can really just see me as a person, all that. Anyways, so I struggle with mental health problems, diagnosed. Um, I've been prescribed things for it. So it, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. <laughs> And so, yeah, I said I'm proud of myself for still having goals and aspiring to be happy and keep going, even though I haven't always wanted that, even though I actually had a very hard year. Of course, I see the bad of 2023, but I see the good. I had a lot of good. Number two, is there anything that held you back from accomplishing your goals this year? So I said the things that held me back was procrastination and letting my emotions control me and focusing on doing things when I'm motivated instead of being consistent and having self-discipline. So those are the things I wrote. I got a book, I'll put it on the screen. It's called Atomic Habits. I only read the first chapter so far. Mind you, I got it for Christmas, so I haven't had it that long. I read the first chapter and I don't know, I'm excited for the rest of the book. I'm excited to really just change my mindset. The book is basically about creating better habits and sticking to them and pointing out why something is a bad habit and why it's affecting you and why doing small habits every day will be, will create a bigger um, result. Three, how can you improve 
it says next year but i'm gonna say this year i said i can improve this year by focusing on breaking bad habits and holding myself accountable improving one percent every day and realizing that i've set these systems up for a reason it's all to reach my goals so what i mean by that is like let's say the first thing that comes to mind is my eating schedule i guess i like to eat well i'm trying to eat six meals a day because i'm trying to gain weight and i'm capable of doing that i've done it before i've been like so close to my weight goal but i've had some mental health issues so it'd be fucking with my appetite but again i don't want to this is what i was saying in number two that i'd be letting my emotions control me instead of me control my emotions so we're gonna dead that this year um but what i meant by like remembering why i set my systems up is because so when i wake up i like to eat immediately because the faster i eat then i'll be hungry again earlier if that makes sense like if i eat my first meal at 11 a.m two hours later at one i'm gonna be hungry and then that gives me more time in the day to fit meals in does that make sense because if i get up at like 3 p.m have my first meal at four and then two hours later i'm gonna be hungry by six i'm gonna take my ass to bed by 10 10 11 four one meal six second meal eight third meal 10 sleep so that's four meals a day and i need six so that can't do you know so that's why that's my system so wake up early so i have more time in the day to eat that's gonna remind me why i'm waking up early that's gonna remind me why i'm eating as soon as i wake up instead of like laying in my bed being on my phone for an hour and just bullshitting around like yeah so that's what i'm saying like remembering why i set up my these routines or these systems because it's all to, like to reach a goal it's not just for shits and giggles you know what were your favorite memories oh you don't gotta tell me definitely my birthday even though it was some bullshit happening around that time but i had fun i had fun with the people who loved me and that's all that matters um i went to new york with my boyfriend i went to ocean city it's like a tourist beach area a whole like beach city <laughs> in maryland um I went there with my homegirl, my best homegirl. Um, I went to LA. And honestly, that's the main shit I can remember right now. I'm sure I had way more good memories, like small ones, you know. But those are the biggest ones, so I'm going to write that down. Number five, what was the hardest lesson you had to learn? Honestly, the hardest lesson I had to learn is that some shit is just out of my control. Like, yeah, I definitely had to learn that things are out of my control and I don't know I just had to focus on me I can't control other people I can't control how they view me you know like I can try to show them that I love them that I care for them that I support them but like if that's not enough for them I can't be myself up over it because i know i did all i could do you know that's my big thing with friendships with relationships i like to make sure i at least did all i could do that's my big thing with friendships and relationships i at least try to show like i at least try to know that i did all i can do after that it's it's fairly easy for me to just you know put it at rest this year i had to do that with someone i really wish i didn't have to do that with and like having to accept that has been like honestly the hardest thing I've had to do this whole year but like I said you know you just gotta pick you at the end of the day you gotta pick you if you did all you can do you've reached out you've apologized mad times like and they never apologize to you they never reach out to you they don't ever hold themselves accountable but I'm holding myself accountable 24 7 like it, I did all I could do that's what I'm saying and like it's still the same outcome so that's showing me that it's out of my control let it go because trying to stress over things you can't control that's just literally gonna stress you out for no reason here it is all right so not gonna hold y'all I'm gonna take me a nap then I'm gonna get up and get ready 
for work and I will see y'all when I do that because to end this video off I want to look the fuck good like y'all see 28 inches installed I want to curl it do my makeup so I will see y'all after my nap hey y'all we're back I'm dressed it's 5 37 I still have my Christmas box screen I should change that but I need to be ready by six. I guess me like 20 minutes. It's not gonna take me that long. I mean, I don't know because I have to curl my hair, but we'll see. I wanted to end the video off with a little get ready with me because this is the last thing that you should do. I cleaned out my closet, cleaned my room. I have fresh, clean laundry. Now it's time to get myself together. I was thinking maybe I could do like an updated makeup routine, but I use the same shit that I've been using, honestly. I'm really not that into makeup how I used to be. Oh, I have been using this, Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, dark brown. It kind of is grayish, like... I don't want to explain it. It has like a gray hue to it instead of like being like dark brown. But I'm so pressed about it because back when this product was popping, like I wanted it. <laughs> Period. I wanted it. And I just never. Not that I didn't have the money to afford it, but like, I mean, I didn't because I, did, I wasn't working like when I when this was popping, I was probably like in middle school, middle school, high school type vibe. So I wasn't really working, but my parents like they weren't gonna spend like like this is what twenty dollars for like this little ass pot. Like they're not gonna spend that for their little 15, 14 year old daughter. Like that's just not gonna you feel me? So that's why i never got it but my sister bought it for me for christmas so now i have the chance of using it and healing my inner child even though people have been talking shit about it because you know like it can make your eyebrows bulky and i'm not gonna lie it can you definitely have to be light-handed with this and use it sparingly i'm still pressed to have the product in the first place so i don't really care make sure i thoroughly blend the front out i'll be using la girl pro conceal mind you this is like four bucks but i when i was like really into makeup i couldn't get this product either like i don't know what the fucking deal was because it's inexpensive but like this was one of the products that were like really popular and i just could not get my hands on it and like now that i'm older and make my own money i got my hands on it. which i think this is a very good everyday concealer like you know it's not too much not too little it does its job for the price and it doesn't break my skin out Ugh, i really need to shape my eyebrows up because it always takes me long as fuck to do my eyebrows when they're not shaped because then they'd be looking so big and just ill but honestly i'm filming a pamper routine or a spa day don't know what i'm gonna call it stay tuned for that so that's why i haven't did it yet but it will definitely be done pretty soon because this is a lot of maneuvering and carving and everything to get it how i want it to look I've been wanting to get my lashes done, but one, getting your lashes done is like super fucking expensive. Like getting your eyebrows waxed, $15 max, like, you know, so it is what it is with the eyebrows, but lashes, that's going to run me over $100 and they're like, you have to keep up with it. Like you literally have to. And I don't know if I can commit to like a hundred dollars every what two weeks one week i don't even know how often you have to do it but i don't think i can commit to that like i just don't think i can but honestly i'm excited to just 
get back on my routines and on my um, healthy habits and shit, which everybody feels this way at the beginning of the year, like, you know, you New Year's resolution type shit. But I don't know. I just want to, basically, I have a better understanding that if you only do stuff when you're motivated, your progress is going to be up and down, up and down. If you do stuff because you're disciplined, because you're consistent, progress will only go up. And that's what I need. I don't need any more up and down and backtracking and having to like redo the progress that I had, if that makes sense. I don't like that this look that they're giving i like it to be like mm, mm, like sharp in your face this is giving me Ugh, i don't like this like i really just feel like shaping your eyebrows makes a big difference and mine aren't shaped i'm using nyx matte finish setting spray and i live by this super strong hold inv um waterproof lash glue it's black i like black but they do make a clear one You just put it on like eyeliner basically and yeah i put it on my lid first i don't put it on the lashes my lashes and it's so easy this way because you just place it on i tap the band to make sure it's secure and then boom it's on all right we're done thank you for watching this video if you stay to this long comment down one new year resolution thank you for watching love y'all